Hello everyone. Today I will show you how to make the lavender brief and uh, just like the last video that I show you how I harvest lavender and sometimes you can do a very beautiful display you know for your desk or give it to somebody for a gift but sometimes when you harvest it have different length the shorter length Today I will show you how to do the wreath and this is my first time so we learn together. To do the wreath you need the metal wreath like this, large or small is optional. You need some wire and you need the scissor. So for the lavender, I suggest that depend on your preference. You just do the short length or long length, depend how big of your wrist. This one is good for the small one. So what you do is you bundle them up like this, and you start wrapping it. So just be patient with me. <laughs> we can learn all together. On the other end, you can just wrap it in here. Okay, so you adjust it a little bit and then you wrap another one. I already cut the same land you see here. So you put it next to it like this. It's nothing hard. It just needs patience, just like everything else. And you learn as you go, just like this time is my first time. So. I don't expect perfection, but, you know, having fun. You know, because sometimes when people hang them upside down to dry, they can do that. But when you have many and you have some different land, and what do you do with it? Sometimes when you make a wreath like this, you can give to friends, relatives as a gift, or you can just hang it in your home for decoration. And when it dry, you can take take them off just like normal. When you dry it upside down, this way you know you have it different way. I have lots of lavender that I put it in my bedroom, and I put it in bathroom. Each room have something. I will show you photo later. Nothing hard. You know, I love to learn. Every day I want to learn something new. And um, today is my first time to make this riff because I just want to experiment different things. Sometimes if you see it a little longer than you um, need, like this one, you just need to straighten them all up and trim a little bit because you don't need that much land. Just enough for you to wrap it, okay?
smells so good. And later on, I will show you how to do flower arrangement too. Because lavender is so easy and you can do, do a lot with it, you know. The benefit of lavender is tremendous. And if you haven't watched my last video, I suggest that you go click and watch because you can hear some of the benefit. So later on, when you have some sunny area in your yard, you, I suggest you plant a few bushes of lavender so you can harvest and um, it's a lot of benefit for your health and it's beautiful for your home as well. Today is just about, right now it's about 70 degrees. It's the perfect weather in Elk Road. And every morning to do one of the uh, garden tour to see what blooming in my yard. So you make a hoop over here so you can hang them. So here is a hook, okay? The hook. And you just fill in the gap, okay? Just like if whatever place that you think it needs a little more, you fill it in. So let me show you. That's my wreath. And you can just adjust it a little bit to make sure they even nature. It doesn't have to be uniform, just like plastic. So even though it's half different, and here's my wreath. Thank you for watching. And next time I will show you how to do different things with lavender. Thank you for watching and I hope you like my video. Please subscribe, give it a thumb up, like to support my channel. Thank you so much.